Hello and welcome back to another University Deep Dive. Today we're talking with student Jeremiah Aela, and we're here to talk about studying real estate at the undergraduate level at Toronto Metropolitan University. So to get us started, I'll kick it over to Spencer. All right, Jeremiah, thanks for your time today. I'm excited to talk about studying real estate at the undergraduate level at, at the Toronto Metropolitan University. Uh, and that's a name change, I believe, right? So uh, talk us through first before we get into real estate component. What what precipitated this name change to Toronto Metropolitan University? Yeah, so we actually had the name change happen earlier this year, April of this year. So it came as a reason as Ryerson. So our university was previously known as Ryerson University. Yep. So Ryerson was involved with the whole residential school system here in Canada. And there was sort of like a whole case last year, April. So the university literally went through a whole rebranding phase. So they were like consulting with the community, consulting with everyone. So we're literally known as X university for like a whole year. Uh, so like yeah. we talked to like different people, the community sort of to see what's the best fit. Then this year, March, April ish, they came, they came out officially as, you know, would be rebranding to Toronto Metropolitan University. So it's been a pretty good transition. Like as a community, we've been really going along with it, getting used to TMU, Toronto Metropolitan University. So it's, it's been a very good transition. So yeah. Good. So if you're a listener or, or a viewer and you came here looking for Ryerson or for X University, <laughs> uh, we, we are talking, they are one and the same, TMU, Toronto Metropolitan University. Yeah. Now, again, we're talking specifically, Jeremiah, about studying real estate at the undergraduate level. Um, what does it mean to study real estate uh, at TMU uh, as an undergraduate student? Is this a master's? Is it, is it a minor? I'm sorry. Is it a major? Is it a minor? Is it a concentration? Yeah. Help us understand what the structure of, of real estate study is. Yeah. So for, it's part of the business management program. So it's a, it's a four or five year program, depending on if you take the co-op option and the structure is like the first year you sort of specialize in like the foundational stuff. So maybe you're doing, you know, your marketing courses, accounting, and maybe you have like one or two introduction introductory courses throughout your first and second year. Then at the end of your first year, that's when you sort of declare what major you want to do. So we have seven specializations that you can do. So it's a bachelor of commerce. So you can specialize in, of course, real estate. There is marketing, there's human resources, there's law and business, there's economics and management science. There is global management studies. And yeah, so you sort of like declare your major at the end of that, of your first year. And then once you declare your major, you sort of start taking those five foundational courses. So for example, your introduction to real estate, your real estate valuations, and then sustainability in real estate. Then as you get into your, the later years of your study, that's when you sort of become more specialized. So that's when you're taking your investment analysis. It depends on, you know, what you're looking for. If you're more of like a numbers guy, you're doing more of the investment analysis courses, the heavy like finance stuff. Or we also, it's also pretty diverse in that it gives you exposure to like different sides of the industry. So we also have courses in construction, there's law. So like by the time you graduate, you have like sort of a well-rounded understanding of, you know, different sides of real estate that you can make like a good decision. Like, okay, I want to be an investment. I want to be in property management or I want to be a developer. It's, it sort of gives you that whole understanding. So yeah, that's sort of how so, the program is structured. Yeah, I have to ask, there's this big decision that comes at the end of your freshman year. So yeah. let, let's say I am a incoming freshman at TMU um, and I have kind of this whole world in front of me. How do I know to, to declare a major that results in a path in real estate? Are, are, or, or maybe your situation in particular, like what, what, what advice could you give to students that are ha having to make that decision here in the next 12 months? Yeah. So the good thing with sort of the business school, they help you, for example, the career hub, they host like different information sessions and by like different companies. Like there's a lot of like student clubs, like for example, I'm part of the real estate club. I'm the president for that. So we host all these events sort of aimed at helping students like get an idea, especially like first and second year when you, let's say you're in university, you don't know what you want to do. There's finance, there's economics, there's marketing, there's this. So there's so much around like resource wise that, that sort of students have that exposure to like, okay, maybe I'm leaning more towards real estate, you know, let me attend like one event, or maybe I'm also interested in finance. Let me attend one event. Oh, let's say 
there's different information sessions that the business career hub also hosts sort of to give students an idea of, okay this is what it is like pursuing a major in real estate and at the i believe it's in february march the sort of like um major session where like every sort of professor they come and like speak to a couple of the stuff that they're doing with that specific specialization so for example real estate maybe it's like a mock lecture and like real estate valuation so it just helps sort of students get a feel for what it is maybe see if it's something they can pursue so yeah there's a good amount of resources just for students to like be able to make that decision so yeah that's excellent so you you make that that all important declaration you choose your specialization in real estate and possibly some subspecialization to a to a to a subsegment of real estate yeah uh what types of classes uh can prospective undergraduate students in real estate expect to take you mentioned a few but give yeah. a bit more color on that what are the classes that you've taken what types of professors are teaching these classes are these academics are they practitioners give it give us a bit more color around uh, coursework yeah so for the courses so in your second so you after the, you declare your major like your first year you take like your introductory courses in your second year so your introduction to real estate your real estate valuations there's um real estate economics and real estate finance so you sort of get those courses are like pretty mandatory that it's you have to take it just to have like that foundation of knowledge then we have the core elective so this is when you have you know there's a course on real estate law there is a course on real estate investment analysis there is um a course on different sort of offerings so for example there's also a course in geography that's location 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 right just to give students that idea of you know this is the stuff that you can pick and like different specializations that you can take within that major then in terms of the sort of the professors that teach them there's a good mix like we have academics and we also have a couple of practitioners that have had previous industry experience like our real estate valuations professor she worked at cmhc which is a mortgage uh Canadian Mortgage Housing Corporation. So they basically like do like insurance for like mortgages and stuff like that. So it's pretty diverse. And like you get like really good experience from like their different sort of industry perspectives. And also in in sort of the details for like the specific like class, there's like a lot of case studies. So like for example, real estate valuations, we do an appraisal. Like I remember when I did it, it, it it's one of my favorite classes at the program basically did an appraisal for like an industrial asset and then right now I'm taking ram 800 which is like one of the final final classes in the real estate program so that's where you do like different case studies every week sort of you pitch an idea sort of like assess a case study so it's pretty good like in terms of what you learn it's very hands-on very practical there's also different speakers so it's really good sounds like it yeah and that's a great overview how about outside the classroom uh, you mentioned clubs that you're that yeah. you participate in. You mentioned yeah. kind of career services, but talk us through if you're a, a real estate student at TMU, uh, what sort of what sort of out, outside the classroom opportunities do you have to learn, yeah. network, and and to grow? So the biggest thing about like going to Toronto Metropolitan University is the location. We're literally at the heart of downtown Toronto, and this is where like there's the head offices for like so many like big companies, all the events are happening. So for example, outside the classroom, like we're very fortunate to sort of have those industry partnerships and like they reach out to us. For example, there's the NAOP, the National Association of Industrial Office Parks, where they host like, for example, they have their developer showcase every two weeks, every week they have different like events just aimed for like students to like get exposure to like, you know, different themes going on in the market. Maybe it's like, a couple senior industry leaders speaking to okay this is the state of the office market or industry so you sort of get like a good overview there's also icsc so we're a partner with icsc so they offer free membership to the students so you get to attend like for example they had their first conference in toronto literally a couple of weeks ago so you get access to that you also get access to their different resources and maybe they're having like different industry networking events there's also the uli you get to attend those different events, sort of also get you, you know, meet these industry professionals. Maybe you're interested in development, investments, like you're actually meeting the people who work there, ask them, okay, what do you like about your role or, or other questions that you might want to know. And within the TMU community, so we have the real estate club. So we basically, we aim to, we act as a connector between, you know, the industry looking for diverse talent and then 
we also connect students to the different opportunities that exist. So we host like so many events just aimed for students to get that exposure to the industry. So for example, we have our career night, which is where we have, we invite a couple of diverse industry representatives from like roles in investments, development. We just try to keep it diverse sort of to, for students to have exposure to, okay, this is what someone in development does. This is what someone in operations does. Just give them like a diverse perspective. Then we have our networking night. So that actually happened yesterday. So that was a really good mm, event. Excellent. And for excellent. students to build their connection, sort of meet industry professionals, because you know, it's a relationship-based industry. Then we have our Expand Your Empire Conference. This is where it's a development focused case competition. So it's pretty well known. It's the largest in Canada. So we basically invite delegates from the US, Canada to compete, sort of like our case is sponsored by the city of Toronto. So they give us like one of their land parcels students get to be innovative, propose, okay, we're going to build mixed use, maybe residential office, stuff like that. Then we also have real estate month initiative. So this is, it has different panels. So we have private equity night, brokerage night, just aim for students to get as much exposure to the industry and sort of make that final decision. Once you're signing that full-time offer, I want to be an investment. Like you've seen a good enough amount of stuff to make that decision. So yeah. That's, it's impressive. Yeah. Uh, a, a comprehensive list of extracurriculars. Now I have to ask Jeremiah, how did you personally get involved with the club and others that will come behind you? How does yeah. one get involved with the club either as a member, but, but more importantly, as a, as a leader? Yeah. So for the real estate club, I joined last year as an associate. So they usually have the hiring cycle is every April, May ish of every school year. So I joined as a corporate relations associate. So at that time I knew, I wanted to, because I knew I had spoken to like a couple of people in the industry and, you know, they mentioned network, 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 your network is your net worth, all this stuff. So like, okay, I need to build the relationships that are sort of going to help me be successful. So I was like, okay, being a corporate relations associate where I'm, you know, speaking to companies, sort of getting them involved to like monetarily sponsor events. It's a pretty good role to start. And it was like my first ever sales role. So I didn't even know anything. So I went into that. I started speaking with like different companies, sort of pitching them for our different initiatives, getting them involved. So over time I was building my network. So this was in my third year. So this was last year. Then April came, May came, you know, the opportunity came to sort of lead the club as president. So I was like, okay, you don't get these opportunities often. So I was like, okay, I'll figure it out. I know I'm an associate making that leap. It was a, it's been a really great learning opportunity, really developing those leadership skills, you know, understanding people sort of also now you're at the top, it's sort of like helping to like give the vision, direct all the different directions, sort of also help to tailor those, you know, educational opportunities for students to have exposure to, okay, all these industry professionals. Cause yeah, it's been, it's been a really interesting, and exciting experience. So I'm yeah. very good for it. It really, it really does sound like it. How about alumni support? Um, uh, either in terms of your your education, but yeah. more importantly, in terms of kind of job internships or, or job opportunities. Yeah, so the alumni support with our university is like really strong. So even our, our program was like established in 2013. So we've been steadily like growing our reputation and industry recogn recognition. So as more people sort of graduate from the program and get into these different roles, like they also sort of help sort of increase the outreach and sort of like um, exposure that the program has itself. So we have like a lot of alumni, especially for the real estate club events, they usually come like they're always willing to like come back and like participate in like networking or like the panel sessions or like some even help with like the core structure sort of like sit on like give examples for like cases sort of it's really strong in terms of like they're paying it forward. So it's like been really great. So there's very strong support, you know, if students need anything, they're always like easily accessible and yeah, it's been really good. Uh, great. Let's talk about outcomes. Um, yes. all this great educational support, you have your extracurricular activities, yeah. you have alumni support. Um, Generally, where do graduates of the program work? Where, um, yeah. whether in Toronto or other cities in Canada or other parts of North America or beyond? Uh, and then what types of firms and what types of roles are, are kind of the common roles that those who come out of the program go into work at? 
Yeah, so for the city that they usually end up staying in Toronto, like maybe you'll find like um, a couple that maybe move to like Vancouver if like an opportunity comes up after a couple of years of like maybe moving to New York, but like I would say 80 to 90% stay in Toronto. And they usually, it's pretty diverse in terms of like the companies they end up working at, like a couple of them end up in brokerage. So like investment sales, maybe appraisal, different stuff. Then a couple of them also end up on like private equity firms or like working for institutions. So it's pretty diverse. So I can't really give like a number, let's say like 90% going to brokerage, but like it's pretty diverse. So that's also, that's also, that also helps us in terms of like, you know, if a student goes on LinkedIn and they're searching, okay, I want to do investments at, and then they search alumni in the university, they can sort of like find a good number of people. You have like that good exposure to like, okay, ask them, okay, I want to go into investments, you know, you're in the brokerage, you're in private equity, you're working for like a pension. How did you get there? How did you do it? So it's yeah. really yeah. good. Then, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think maybe I missed the second part of your question. No, that, that that's great. So Toronto yeah. largely is, is where most of the jobs are, but some other cities outside yeah. of Toronto, but also, but in Canada, and it sounds like a, a, a wide range of, of, firm types, whether brokerage or investments or development and, and so forth. Um, and if I were to kind of read between the lines, what I'm hearing from you is, you know, students have this ability to concentrate in, in given areas of real estate and, and then pick their career path that makes the most sense. Yeah. Um, and we're running out of time. I want to make sure to ask kind of this, this final question, Jeremiah. Yeah. So as you look back to now your time studying at TMU, um, formerly Ryerson, right? And yeah. that whole transition, um, uh, working with the the uh, the real estate club, is there one experience in particular that you look back at and say, "Well, wow, that had an outsized impact on my career"? It's honestly probably joining the real estate club because also two years ago we had COVID for two years, right? So it wasn't really easy to sort of connect and sort of meet people. And when COVID happened, I was six months into my first year so i was like okay i need to find ways to like sort of connect with people and sort of like get involved especially during those COVID times so like joining the student club really helped especially because i'm an international student so i didn't really have like okay high school friends from like the city all that so i'm like okay how do you get involved how do you like meet people so i was like okay i picked real estate as my major so i was like okay i'm gonna join the student club sort of like get that experience, sort of meet like-minded people, sort of like develop that interest. So joining the real estate club was probably a very big leap because, you know, you're meeting some of the most dedicated, sort of committed students to like that student experience. So it really helps you form relationships as you all have the same common goal. And as a result, you're all working hard, advancing the initiative. So that's been really, really rewarding for me. And now like even sitting as president, like the most rewarding thing is when like someone tells me, yeah, I got an interview, you know, I got to meet someone like that excitement, it's, it's unmatched. So it's just something that I feel very passionate and like very grateful for it. That's phenomenal. Yeah. Well, Jeremiah, thank you so much. Toronto Metropolitan University, um, really valuable insights. And with that, we'll turn it back to Sam to wrap us up. Yes, thank you. We'd like to thank Jeremiah, of course, for joining us here today. And to you, our viewers and readers, thank you for taking the time to watch today's deep dive. And the best of luck to you and to your adventure in commercial real estate.